Here's a little tour of my Maco 5S. Uh, it's about two years old. I picked it up off the Maco guy for about three thousand um, dollars. So it is used. Right, I'll give you a tour of the box. So I got my Lyle serpentine belt tool, great pneumatic, half inch shallow impact sockets, uh, snap on which are new. Uh, a lot of this stuff's new. I'll tell you why in a second. But uh, so half inch deep impact. I got the three eighths metric snap on. Uh, got the little polar tool, little long reach tool. I got the shallow impact three eighths, as well as a uh, snap on three eighths swivels. Go up to twenty one. Got my long pry bar. My hood prop, uh, 3 8 inch extensions, uh, the half inch Carlisle ratchet. I only have one half inch now, the Mac is on the way. The lockable uh, swivel head. Snap on spark plug socket, snap on uh, torque sticks. I think it goes from 140 down to, let's see, 140 down to 80. I got my uh, 3 8 swivel, my quarter inch swivel, a couple impact swivels. Don't really use those. A snap on pry bar set, which is new. Uh, snap on 3 8 uh, standard. Uh, these are Cornwell. The Blue Power, made in Taiwan. Uh, you got the gear wrench 3 8 snap on 3 8 Cornwell 3 8 which I don't really like. The teeth in it. It's kind of rough, it doesn't spin very well. You got a snap on quarter inch, you know, Williams, which came with a little quarter inch set. This is Williams as well. Uh, snap on breaker bar. Snap on half inch extensions, triple squares. Never used those before. Those are old there. Got a couple standard deep sockets. So I'm getting more half inch snap on soon. This is a Lyle um, O2 sensor mover. As well as a Lyle oil filter. Socket set just extreme shallow. And I love these things. Moving stubborn uh, oil filters. That's all I use though for everything. Big and small, and then Toyota's most common. And uh, that's the top. here's the second drawer. With my SK wrenches. Those are old. I shined them up when I organized my toolbox. Just got the toolbox about a week ago. These are Carlisle from Napa. They're actually really nice. Those are uh, metric. And uh, these are the brand new. I think they're called flink drive snap on. I forgot how many teeth they are, but they're super fine. I haven't used those yet, but they're reversible. I got my half moon for starters and alternators and whatnot. Never used those before either, but those are brand new. Uh, I got my Carlisle standard, goes with the one inch wrenches. I like those a lot too. And there's a couple big last and uh, channel lock. And then the side terminal tool. Uh, this guy's old. Got him. This is my first snap on tool I ever bought. My old work, we had to torque down every single drain pan bolt when I was a GS. That's my 3 8 torque wrench. And then this guy's brand new. I haven't used him yet. Big half inch. I opted for the green one. With the black instead of the chrome. Yeah, big old half. And then uh, this drawer, empty eye for that drawer. And uh, of course, I had screwdrivers, but they're all magnetic tip, so I couldn't use those around computers. So we got snap on. I got the Vim uh, Torx and Allen. Quick disconnects. This is a Matco uh, wiper arm puller and battery terminal puller. The uh, snap-on bolt extractor set, very similar to the Craftsman. Uh, I just picked this up the other day, the Matco off a of Matco guy. 
panel popper, uh, brake tools for drum brakes, uh, some cornwall picks, Matco radiator hose pick. Here's my power drawer. I love my Makita. This thing's used and abused. I got my new uh, snap on air hammer. Uh, Makita light. Don't really use that very much since I got my uh, stream light. Uh, I got an air and a battery 3H ratchet. Um, the air one has more power, that's why I got that one. Uh, the screwdriver in orange. Uh, cut off wheel. This guy's brand new. Put the little swivel on the end. Put a little 3 8 for brakes and stuff. Packs a punch. Uh, a little half inch. This guy's old too. I just put the new boot on it. That was my my second impact gun. I always had IR impact guns. A little die grinder. 9 degree. A couple air tools. And this thing sucks. I mean, I'm not bashing Mac. But it's made by DeWalt. And my Makita is just as strong. And that's a quarter inch. That's a quarter inch Makita. And it's about just as powerful as this Mac here. Alright, here's my pliers drawer. Got a little plier rack. Most of these are just snap, snap ring pliers from Snap on. I didn't know what to do with all of them. Couldn't fit the case anywhere. Vice grips, dikes, needle nose, more needle nose, long dikes, channel locks. Um, these are really cool. Push pin removers. You stick it down, you pull and it removes them without snapping them. And uh, I bought this off one of my co-workers, my first snap on plier. But uh, really nice. I haven't really used them very much, but they built pretty well. Got my channel lock, oil filter pliers, my Lyle exhaust pliers for the clamps, the hangers. Uh, spark plug boot remover from Blue Point. My first Blue Point hammer. I haven't used that yet. This is my old hammer from Carlisle. Got my Matco dead blow, ball peen, and my uh, Matco. And uh, this is the money drawer. A uh, couple clamps for brake tools, little piston or any single piston. Uh, I got a universal brake caliper unwinding tool. And this is my uh, fuel pressure set. It's kind of heavy, I'm not going to pull it out now, but that was one of the big money tools. Uh, I don't have a tap and die set, but I have a fractional and metric rethreading set. I think Castar makes this, but you know, you can't beat the snap on warranty. So I bought that. Of course, everything's at 50% discount, 50 or 40% discount. So, and then here's the ball joint, new joint set. All right, here's my uh, digital micrometer from Matco. Uh, used that a couple times. It's pretty accurate, it only goes to the hundreds though, not the thousands. Um, punch and chisel set. Uh, this is my feeler gauge set and um, file set. Here's my uh, catch all drawer you know, zip ties, wire brush. Uh, thermometer for testing AC, uh, markers, more feeler gauges for brakes. I know I can kind of eyeball without using this, but uh, battery terminal cleaner, my bits for my gun, a tire valve, everything basically. Just goes in that drawer. All right, here's my uh, fluke. Uh, I use that. Plenty of times for diagnosing, not diagnosing, sorry, uh, problems with cars. Uh, there's my Power Pro soldering kit, butane, extra butane, test light from Matco, uh, a bunch of test leads and crimpers from Cornwall. I like those a lot, I like these. Make everything a lot easier, makes your life 10 times easier. And then, uh, oh. Got it's my uh, scan tool. It is the uh, Ethos Pro, Ethos Tech Pro, and I've used it a couple times at school on my friends' cars, and it seems to work really well. They have a little demo mode. I was playing with that for a long time. 
Uh, yeah, does about everything you need, except for the scope, but that can come later. And then, uh, I just, I don't know, not much in here, just bags, rags, and extra charger. And uh, here are all my chargers. Glued this on here, I didn't glue, but I double sided taped it, power strip, and uh, all my chargers. All the brake looper cans, all the brake jobs. My speaker. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, as I said before, I'm currently a student at WildTech in uh, Pennsylvania and taking advantage of that uh, Snap-on 50% student discount. Uh, these half of these tools have not been used yet, so don't bash it. But uh, the other half I did use all the time for GS work and minor repairs that the shops have worked at. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. You got a hanky, you can't sip whiskey, got a drink.